Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the push to start relay on your dryer. On this particular style of dryer, the push to start relay is used to control the motor. If it fails, your dryer won't start. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dryer. So you either pull it forward and unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. Now to change the part, we'll need to access the back of the console, so you will need to pull the dryer a little bit forward. So now that we have access to the back of the dryer, we'll just remove these screws that secure the back cover onto the console. And then just pull that back panel off and set it aside. Now with the back panel off, then locate the push to start switch over on this side. And before we remove it, we'll reach around to the front and just pull the knob off. So just remember to pull the knob off the push to start switch. And then we can remove it from behind. We'll set that aside. And if you look up at the top of that switch housing, you'll see a little plastic tab. We're going to lift that tab away from the metal portion of that control panel and turn the push to start switch about a quarter or eighth of a turn clockwise. And if you have a hard time lifting that tab with your finger, you could also take a small flat blade screwdriver and just lift it up enough so that it will allow it to rotate. Once we've turned it, and then pull it out of the opening. Next we'll remove the wire harnesses. Check for any signs of arcing or corrosion on those terminals. We can discard the old switch. Take our new switch. We'll reinstall the wire harnesses. Sure they fit nice and snug. And then we'll position that switch in the opening. We'll note that we have a square protrusion on the body of that switch that needs to fit into this square opening. So we'll put it in about this position so that it fits into that opening. Pressing firmly against the metal plate, we'll rotate it counterclockwise until that locking tab engages. We can reinstall the knob. And now we're ready to put the back panel on. So we'll just place that back panel into position. Line up the screw holes. and then reinstall the retaining screws. And now we're ready to push the dryer back into position. We're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. 